We are in Paris right now for a day transit before we fly off to French Guiana to witness a rocket launch to send Miasat 3D into space. And this satellite is important for Malaysia's connectivity. Two, one, stop. Allumage de ZAP décollage. So for those who don't know, Miasa is Malaysia's main satellite operator. They have been in business of managing satellites for about 30 years. Their first satellites, Miasa 1 and Miasa 2, were launched in 1996 and that enabled Astro's direct-to-home services. Suddenly, all Malaysians can get access to dozens of international TV channels by subscribing to Astro. Eventually, they launched more satellites such as Miasat 3, Miasat 3A, and Miasat 3B. They've also partnered with other providers for Miasat 5 and also Africa Sat 1A. And these new satellites enable new services, including satellite broadband. If you're watching this video smoothly and in high quality, you must be wondering why do we even need satellites when you can use fiber and mobile technology such as 4G and 5G? Even Astro has started shifting its pay TV customers to IPTV solution. Well, the answer to that is the current state of Malaysia's internet connectivity. During the pandemic, we have seen stories and reports about students climbing trees or traveling long distances to get decent mobile reception for online learning. And the government has also kicked off its Jendela program with the aim of increasing 4G coverage, mobile broadband speeds, and expanding access to fiber broadband. It aims to achieve 96.9% .9 of 4G population coverage by the end of 2022. According to the Malaysian Communications and Multimedia Commission, covering the last few percentage of the population is the toughest to complete. Some places are just so remote that it's not feasible at all to pull fibre or set up mobile tower just for a small population. And that's where satellite comes in. And this is a faster and more cost-efficient way to bridge the digital divide. We're talking about unserved places in Malaysia, they have no mobile coverage. And so we're here, and this is where Miasa 3D is going to launch at the European Spaceport in French Guiana. And it's a French territory located at South America, which is about 9 hours flight away from Paris. And this is the perfect place to launch satellites because it's located close to the equator. And the rocket that's taking Miasa 3D up to space is the Ariane 5 launcher. And this is the same launcher that's used to send the James Webb Telescope up to space in December 2021. And it has a maximum payload of 10 tons and this will be the fifth last mission for Ariane 5. The launch we're about to see is flight VA257 and this is also the first Ariane 5 launch in 2022. For Miasat, this is the fourth rocket launch by Ariane Spas in Kuro. All right, so Miasa 3D satellite launch was a success. So the launch we know was supposed to take place at 5.03 a.m. Malaysian time, but due to some technical issues, it was postponed slightly later. And the lift-off for the Ariane 5 rocket took place at 5.50 a.m. And the Miasa 3D satellite was separated at 28 minutes after lift-off, and a couple of dozen minutes later, uh, it's been confirmed that the satellite has been launched successfully into space. So besides Miasat 3D, this same rocket is also carried uh, Indian GSAT-24 satellite as well. This new Miasat 3D is using an Airbus Eurostar 3000 satellite which carries your typical C-band, KU-band and this is also a new high throughput satellite that does KA-band and this can deliver up to 100 megabits per second for satellite broadband. And with the increased capacity of 30 gigabits per second, it can connect up to 2 million Malaysians in unserved areas in Malaysia. Besides that, it also carries Q and V bands, which is used for future purposes, and this will help Miasa to design its next satellite. 
The satellite also carries an additional L-band payload, which is used for geopositioning satellite services for KT satellite. The MESA 3D journey is not done yet. In the next few days, the satellite will actually enter its 91.5 degrees east hotspot, which is the optimal position to provide the best coverage for Malaysia. After that, it will undergo a month of testing before the satellite can be used for commercial services. So as mentioned earlier, this can provide broadband speeds up to 100 megabits per second under the Connect Me Now service. According to Mr. Yao, there's a potential that this satellite service can be much cheaper in terms of cost per gig. At the moment, the Connect Me Now service offers up to 30 gigabits per second at a cost of 10 ringgit per gigabyte. Besides satellite broadband, this new satellite can help Astro to deliver 4K and 8K video content to every home in Malaysia. In addition for telecommunication services, Maxis can potentially use satellite as a backhaul to provide mobile coverage in rural areas. So that's all from the launch of the Miasat 3D satellite right here at Kuro French Guiana. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe us on our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon so that be informed of future videos. This is Alex from SoyaChincha.com. See you guys later. Bye.